All right, this is a video basically on how to change your motor bearings uh, requested by a couple friends of mine online. So anyways, here we go. Pretty much uh, I like to use the NMB bearings right here. Uh, normally I get them like by the 100. They are by far the best bearings that I've used. They last the longest. These ones in particular are the L-94 zero ZZ MTRs if you guys can see that uh, there we go pretty much uh, what you're gonna need as far as tools this is probably one of the most important ones it's a little paper clip basically that I've straightened out took a set of pliers put a set of pliers here another set of pliers and just basically bent these out right pretty simple not very high-tech but they are the secret thanks to whomever online I, I came across this before and basically I use a uh, one bolt just uh, one that I'm not worried about rounding off the edges this is my the one I used to, to basically smash on and then I have another set up here with two washers which you don't really need the washers but you do need two old bearings and a driver and a ratchet or whatever for your nut on the other side so uh, basically we'll go ahead and get started first you just remove your prop I also have this this is what I use to take out the opposite bearing right here uh, or something of that size you can use so me I'm lazy I don't like to take them off my quad and I like to be able to repair out in the field if I bash them bad so Basically, I just go ahead and remove that. And on these, just go ahead and pop them off. Sorry, camera angle's not the greatest here. Okay. So now I've got that done, I can go ahead and peel this up, take out the bell bolt here. I just kind of bend it back down. That's the wrong one. Tighten up another bolt. Hold the base down. Pop this guy out. Alright. Sometimes there's a little washer in there that can fall out or the, the actual o-ring so make sure not to lose that set that aside undo your your bolt again okay and on this what I do is I just take this little guy squeeze it and I actually insert it right in there until it clips and it's locked in right then I take my bolt and I insert it like so and then I take a trusty screwdriver or wrench or whatever the case may be and just kind of hold it with my hand and then I just tap it out bearing comes out never had an issue doing it this way comes out super easy very efficient pop it off set it aside don't get it mixed up with your new bearings I've done that before and then you kind of have to waste a new bearing pull that out then what I do is I take this guy right here and I put it in for the opposite side I put it right in there and I basically repeat the process and the bearing shot out it fell on the floor of course that's the hard part basically but you're you're halfway done so then what I do is I just take this guy right I'm gonna get rid of the washers I don't I, I had the washers I was originally using them but not anymore so you take one old bearing and then you have your two new bearings so you put one new bearing on shove it through put the other new bearing on then an old bearing and then your nut 
right? Works great. Take your driver and your ratchet. Make sure they're going ahead in the right direction here. And then just tighten it up until the bearings suck in. And you'll know, you'll feel it. When they're seated, they're in there pretty good. It's pretty solid. Don't over crank them. You don't want to damage them. Just tighten it up right there. You can feel it stop. And just back it off. And this doesn't require an arbor press or anything like that. You can do it in the field. All you gotta do is have a old bolt, some old bearings, a couple little simple tools, you know, it's pretty simple. And then from there, you put your bell back on, get your driver for your bell bolt. I like to clean that up, but just run it, my fingernail through there, get all that old Loctite off, grab yourself some some Loctite, some blue, not red, and just give it a little dab, and then throw that sucker right on in there. But I was started off backwards till you feel it click, and you know that you're not going to cross the red. If you cross the other things, you know there's no sense in over tight. And I just kind of take them till they're just barely finger tight, two fingers. That's it. I'm good to go. Lift it up. Put your bolts back in. I'm sorry if this isn't the best quality video, but this is made last minute for a couple friends. If you find that you've got some use out of it, then please give it a like and maybe a sub. If not, then wish you a good day. And pretty much that's it, fellas. Brand new. Sounds like sounds like new. Thanks for watching.